How to reduce stress, tip number three. Hi friends, how are you? In this video, I want to share with you tip number three on how to reduce stress in your life. In two other videos, I shared with you how to reduce stress through our diet and how to reduce stress, adding something very simple to our lifestyle. If you haven't seen those videos, I'm going to link them up here so you can go and watch them. And today I want to share with you tip number three on how to reduce stress through our spiritual life. I want to share with you two verses from the Bible that have helped me so much when I have been dealing with a stressful situation, with a hard situation, with pain in my life. That pain may have caused stress and so many other things that have affected my health. So I want to share with you two verses that I think are very important to reduce stress in our lives. Number one is Proverbs 3, 5, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. And the second verse is 1 Peter 5, 7, and it says, Cast all of your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I find these words to be so comforting. Whenever we're going through a stressful situation, maybe a hard situation, like I was saying, a painful situation. Right now in this world, we are facing so many things, right? So many challenges, maybe health challenges, maybe the possibility of losing someone, maybe some financial hardship, so many things that can be causing stress, so many things that can be causing anguish, maybe grief, all of these emotions that They do serve a purpose, but they are not good in the long run. Whenever we're feeling stressed, I don't know if you have experienced this, but whenever I'm feeling like very stressed out, it feels like my stomach is closing and it's upside down. It will not accept food. I lose my appetite. I cannot sleep. I suffer from insomnia whenever I'm going through these hard situations. And all of this is not good for our bodies, right? It is making us weaker and it's making us maybe sicker by not having rest, by by not having the proper nutrition, right? And sometimes even if we get to those things, even if we get some rest, even if we get proper nutrition, even if you have followed the other two tips that I gave you in the other video, sometimes something is missing in our hearts. Something is missing that is not giving us peace, that we don't feel that peace, that that sense of calmness that we need to have in order to be okay. So that is when the Word of God can come to help us, can come to our rescue, right? I myself have experienced stressful situations along my life, and I'm sure you have too. All of us suffer from stress at some point in our lives. I myself experienced this not too long ago where I was facing a family member that was sick, and not only that, also the possibility of losing someone that I loved deeply. And I have felt so much pain. I have felt so much stress. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Only the Word of God would comfort my heart. Only the Word of God could give me the peace that I needed. I heard a phrase that got stuck with me because it is so true. Sometimes God will allow temporary pain to prepare us for an eternal blessing. And if we think about it, you have seen the hand of God before. He has blessed you before. Even if you went through that pain, even if you went through that anguish, through that grief, you could see the blessing after that situation. It will be the same in the situation that you're going through maybe right now. So we have seen the hand of God. We have seen what He has done before. We have seen that He has blessed us before. Why would it be different now. It is hard to see it that way when you're going through that pain, especially, I don't know if you're like me, I am a person that has to have her life kind of like planned and organized. I want to have control over my life, over everything that is going around me so that I know what to expect. In a way, I feel that is like a way of protecting myself from the unexpected, right? Because the unexpected, of course, you don't know what it will bring. So I want to prepare myself, have everything under control. But if we think what the Word of God tells us, that is not the right way of thinking, right? Because there are some things that we cannot control. There are some things that are out 
of our control. And that is when I need to surrender all of those things to God and to know that I cannot control everything. Of course, I have to have that sense of responsibility for the things that I can control, but there are so many things that are not in my control and that I need to learn how to accept those things that I cannot control and how to accept that I am surrendering all of those things in the hands of God. This is where the first verse comes into place, where it tells us, do not trust in your own understanding. Sometimes we think that we know it all. Sometimes we think that we know what is best for us, but really we don't know the future. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if this situation that we're going through right now is going to be for something better. Even if it feels like it's something bad, even if we have dreams of doing the opposite of what is happening to us, we don't know if this is going to be a blessing afterwards. So we need to learn how to give all of our worries to God. And this is what the word of God tells us, right? He tells us that we need to cast all of our anxiety onto him because he is the one taking care of us. He is the one that cares for you and for me. He cares about everything that is going through your life. Even if you think there is something so small, not worth it for God, not worth it for a prayer, He cares about you. He cares if you're going through some anxiety, if you're going through some stressful times, if you're going through sadness. He cares. And we need to learn how to trust Him him. Like I was telling you, I experienced a lot of pain not too long ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and nothing that I was doing was giving me comfort, even with all the knowledge that I have. I have the knowledge of what to do lifestyle-wise to bring my stress levels down. I have the knowledge of what to do nutrition-wise to bring my stress levels down, but none of those things were working. None of those things were giving me the peace that I needed in my heart. The only thing that was giving me peace was the word of God. There were two verses that was stuck in my head that I kept on repeating, that I tried to memorize. Whenever those emotions came, I would repeat those verses in my head. In my case, it was the possibility of losing a loved one. So I would repeat in my head, the Lord gave and the Lord took away. And also another verse that got stuck in my head was, he has in his hands the life of every living being. So I know that I can trust him. I know that I have to surrender my will and let his will be done. This is something that really helped me and I think that it can help you as well. Whatever situation that you're going through, there are so many verses that can give us that peace that we need. In whatever situation that we're going through, there is always something. There's always an advice that God can give us and we need to learn to trust him. And think about someone right now. Think about someone that you trust in your life. Think about that person. You trust that person. I am thinking in my own person too right now. I think about that person and I know that I trust that person. So why do I trust that person? I have to remember why do I trust that person and I know that maybe that person has my back, that that person cares for me, that that person would never do anything to hurt me, that that person would do anything just for my well-being and for me to be taken care of. So in the same way that maybe you and I are thinking of that person, Person in our lives, we need to think about God in that way. We know that He cares for us because the Bible tells us in His Word there are so many promises that we have to read every day and believe every day because this is what the Christian life is about. It's about faith. Even if you don't see God, even if you don't hear him talking like you would with a friend, he is still there. He is still listening. He still cares about you. He still talks to you through his word. If we read it, if we put it into practice, if we look for him in prayer, he will answer. He will be there for us. He will take care of us. He's the only one that can give you peace like nothing else. Even if you put into practice all other advices that I had given you in other videos, sometimes only the word of God can give you that peace that you cannot explain. It's something that you cannot explain. It's something that just fills you, fills your heart, and you start to feel peace and you start to feel like everything is going to be okay because that is what God says. Everything is going to be okay if we put our lives into his hands. 
So yeah, I hope that we can meditate in these verses, that this can help us bring our stress levels down, that we can have peace in our heart. That is going to be so good for your health. You're going to start feeling happy. You're going to start feeling better. That is what God wants for you and for me to have a fulfilling life, to have a good life, to be thankful in every situation no matter what the situation is, even if it's something bad, even if we feel it's something terrible, God will give us the end that we want, that we are expecting, and he will give us an eternal blessing. If you find this information to be helpful and would want to get more information like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Many blessings.